Hi everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Magical Diary Horse Hall. I'm Lady Shura. And I'm Trine Morning. Let's begin. We're beginning a new week. We are beginning a new week. You know what's coming up soon? Oh, it's someone knocking on our door. Oh. I'm awoken Monday morning by someone knocking on our door. Not hammering, just knocking, but at a rapid beat. All right, let's get very specific, specific about this. Um, whose voice is this? Horace, are you there? Who is that? Oh, Not me. It's Minnie. <laughs> I step out into the hallway and find Minnie waiting for me. Minnie, do you have a frog in your throat? Hi. Good morning. What's up? I'm just here to remind you that we're running the booths for Valentine's sales this afternoon, right after class. I should have mentioned it yesterday, but I was really busy and I lost track. I'm Especially sorry. since we were at uh, We were studying study with you. <sighs> in the library, anyway. That's fine. I'll be there. I take another look at Minnie. Her face looks blotchy. No, it doesn't. Somehow, like, the skin under her eyes is a slightly different color than the rest. No, it doesn't. Looks normal to me. Are you all right? I'm a little tired, that's all. I understand that. Are you sure? Virginia was sick last week. Something might be going around. <laughs> no, I'm not. Premature fine. baby disease is going around. <laughs> I'll see you this afternoon. Maybe she's pregnant. Oh, shit. She hurries away. That would be freaking awesome. Well, what should I do this week? All right, I think I'm going to go to the gym and sleep. Oh, I, I need to sleep. Definitely. And white, white, black. We're going to see one of our favorite characters. We are? By favorite, I mean someone we loathe. Damien? Uh, not quite. Oh. You! You! Uh, what? Why did you yell you too? I was yelling it at him. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why do you girls always play hard to get? What? what? This is sudden. Um. I'm going to say they don't. No means no, buddy. <laughs> Seriously, what is the problem? They what is Horace's face? Horace is so response? cool and collected. They don't. Girls don't always do anything. <laughs> I'm just imagining her face. Yeah, fickle. <laughs> fickle. That's not what I meant. But it's clear he's not really listening. He walks away, scuffling his feet. Not a happy guy. Is he a penguin? I guess. So. I'm like picturing him Killed walking the penguin. away. He, is, he does have blue hair. It kind of makes him kind of penguin-like. <laughs> I don't know why I'm, where I'm going with that exactly. Blue is like cold, so he's he's cool in the Arctic, like a penguin. Okay. I don't know. Don't listen okay, to me, fellows. Okay, hush, hush now. Fellows. <laughs> Just keep coming. <laughs> the Valentine's Day. <laughs> Order booths are set up all around the quad with two tables for each class, manned by student officers. The valentines themselves aren't here, though. Only the order forms and money boxes. You say what you what what you want and for whom, and the valentines will be delivered on Friday morning. Everyone seems happy with the price we've set. It's hard to keep track with everybody that, everything that's going on, but it feels like everybody has somebody they want to send a happy thought to. Minnie has apparently drafted Jacob to provide extra help for her side. He's stacking uh, and counting Jacob. the money while she double checks the order information. The guy is uh, the Harry Potter look like, if I remember. Yes, he is. I wonder if I should have asked someone to help me. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, <laughs> Kyo shows up at my table and hands me two $50 bills. Whoa, what is he paying for exactly? I don't know. So I don't play hard to get, I guess. He's uh, pretty direct. You need change? For Minnie. You can't buy her. All of it. <laughs> this conversation. Right. That's 20 orders. Uh, I can't get my mind out of the gutter right now. Okay. Anyway. Hush. All right. That's 20 orders from you to Minnie. Just sign your name and the details there. He does so, then slams the pen back onto the order pad and walks away. I guess that that's why... That guy has why, issues. I guess that's why there have to be at least two tables, so that you can place an order from one of the officers and still keep it a surprise. I wonder if anyone's buying valentines for me. Horace, you are a married woman. <laughs> Speaking of buying valentines, I should figure out whether I'm sending any of my own. Mm. I don't think Grabby would appreciate it very much. You think? And I don't want to send any to anyone else, so I think I'm not going to. All right. Do you think so? I think that's fine. Like, I really think he'd be angry at me and, like, give me 50 demerits or something. Yeah, or worse. Oh, God. What could be worse than that? I don't know. Hello, my rosy-faced lovebirds. Please take your seats. Before- that's inappropriate compared to what we were uh, doing earlier in this game, getting married. Like, we're not going to be... Just go. Oh, 
<laughs> okay, I'm confused. Before we go on with our classwork today, there's something important that we need to discuss. Oh, is this what you're talking about? For many people, this is a sensitive subject. However, you are all young adults now, not children, and it is better for us to have this out in the open. Wait, is this going to be sex education? This is the traditional season <laughs> yeah. for young romance. Yeah, it's spring, so we're mating like animals. And we don't want like to clip rabbits. your wings. There are no school rules against love in any form. Whoa, I guess it is. Sort of. As long as you and the other person or people that you're with are enthusiastic about whatever you're doing, we will not intervene. So if they're only like half-assing it, it's not okay. They have to be enthusiastic. Am I of age? How old am I? Aren't I I'm a freshman? I'm pretty sure we're not. We're just a freshman, so that'd be under mm, 16. But I'm but I'm enthusiastic. Unless so we it's are okay. like No, no, it's not like a college. It's definitely they're teenagers, right? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, I think so too. But sh- there's no law against that, but it is against the laws of America. And we are in America. We're in New Hampshire. Damn anyway. right. But keep any naughty business out of areas where those <laughs> who have not consented might accidentally see you and try not to get too distracted from your schoolwork know what you want to be sure everyone else does too if anyone isn't enthusiastic whether it's a kiss or a dance or something else stop and wait until they are i know now there is one other matter that would require punishment as students you are not allowed to carry children breaking but this rule. they're not people yet <laughs> that's true breaking this rule will result in equal punishment for all parties concerned and we will know who you are okay Trusting your partner is an important part of romance, but in this case, take your own precautions as well. If you don't think your green magic is up to the task, or have any further questions, please come and talk to me after class. So we can use green magic to not get pregnant? Um, I guess so. That's interesting. Ooh, I learned to cause fear. <laughs> Well, wouldn't you be fearful of uh, Horace? He's On very... Friday morning, the Valentines are delivered. Horace is a very intimidating individual. No oh, no. No one sent anything to me. Ouch. Well, Horace, what do you expect? I know. You're married to Grabner, and he's certainly not going to send you one. Well, actually, n- no one else knows that I'm married, except Damien apparently somehow knows. Well, Damien obviously somehow knew, but... He's just like, oh, so but you're... But the point thinking. is, we shouldn't have expected one from him. Right. So we I don't shouldn't. know what Horace is thinking there. Oh, Horace, you're such a girl sometimes. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. She's kind of cheerful there. No, she's not cheerful. Horace is never cheerful. Unless Sorry. Unless someone else's misery. On Saturday morning, I get up terribly early and deliver the mail and the allowances. Then I'm free for the day. What should I do today? I'll, I'll just study for now. Maybe we'll shop next time. We'll have $100. No, we won't. We'll have 96 <laughs> Um... Almost under. There are several students in the library today, but Minnie is nowhere to be seen. I hope she Uh-oh. didn't get together with, you know, after all those Valentines were delivered. She could be, like, tied up in its closet for all we know. That's probably a more likely scenario. I guess uh, Kyo doesn't listen to those oh, God. rules about having to be consensual. Guys, do you smell smoke? Oh my God, Minnie's on fire. They're burning her. Bonfire. Oh. Well, she didn't say anything about burning the person you're in love with, so. What Bonfire. For the New Year ceremony tomorrow night, they use the ashes. Ashes of what? What? Ellen and I push up close to the window Just and try to get a look outside. I'm confused. Why are... Oh, Lunar New Year, I guess? It's hard to tell, but I think I can see Minnie and Jacob near the flames. Oh, Minnie and Is Jacob. Is this a student council thing? Should I be out there see, helping See, I don't think about that. There was Jacob who probably sent her Valentine, too, so maybe right. she got with him. And she's in hiding from Kyo. I hope that they are roommates. That would be so awesome. Can you imagine Jacob and Kyo as roommates? That would be so awkward. I hope it's true, but I doubt it. Like, <sighs> uh, Jacob's just feeding him all this false information about how to uh, seduce Minnie. <laughs> yes, that would be so awesome. I'm sure Minnie would have fetched me if she needed me. I suppose we'll find out tomorrow. Come on, Horace. You don't want to be the third wheel there. Definitely not. <sighs> what do you think? Are we cutting it here or continuing? Yeah, let's keep it to one week per all episode. Right. All right, everyone, so we'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.